Hello there, welcome to Airgun 101. This little channel has been set up and is designed to give all you lovely people out there a chance to look at the latest gadgets and gizmos that are available in the world of air guns. And I'm coming to you from the new set of the Airgun 101 shop, which is actually where all of this comes from. And today, I'm gonna to talk to you about something which a lot of people forget until they get out in the field, and that's bipods. Now, a lot of you will get overly excited when you go and buy your new air gun or your new gadget, and you will think, great, I've got it all, I'm sorted, let's get out there and get shooting. And then all of a sudden, you'll find that you've got a rest on something, or you're sat at a table and you find that you've got a rest on something. Bags are great, they work really, really well. But if you want something that's gonna make your rifle rock steady, you're going to need a quality bipod. And Coldwell have just brought out a range of carbon fiber ones, and they look quite smart. Bipods come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and all sorts of price ranges. They go from cheap, I would tend to avoid those, through to medium price ones, which are good, which is what the Coldwell is, and then you go to the high-end ones, which is like the Akitak stuff, which you can see just there. Now, this is a medium priced bipod. You're looking at around 150 to 180 pounds, depending on which sort of size and length you want. A Little bit more expensive if you want something even longer. But the good thing is, is it's carbon fiber and it's discreet and it's lightweight. And it's really easy to use with a single press in retractable button, which allows the bipod to lock down very easily. It's a very simple system, a couple of screws, put it onto your Picatinny rail, and you're basically ready to go. But that's not its only party trick. Its other party trick is the fact that if you release this lever here at the back, you've actually got the ability to spin that head. So you can put it down and get yourself comfortable in the position you need to, and it does also rotate as well. So that's actually a really nice touch on a bipod in that price range. There is one thing that it is missing, but it's kind of a good thing, I suppose, in some ways, is that there's no quick release on your actual Picatinny rail. You actually have to do it up with a flathead screwdriver. It does actually make it really, really secure, obviously, but it doesn't have a quick release. So if you like a quick release, it doesn't have a quick release. Now, this is the Picatinny one you can see here. They do also do the swivel stud one which will fit on most rifles that have got a stud. It's a very, very simple system. All you need to do, if I show you, is literally, when you get it out the box, is you have to undo a couple of star screws at the bottom there, which they do give you a little tool for, and then you pop your swivel stud in there, put the pin through, and then just do the two screws back up. And then you're fixed onto your rifle. And it works the same as the Picatinny one with the adjustment points there going you know, forward or back. And it can go back if you want. Depends which way you want to do it. There are people out there that get really upset if you put your bipod legs backwards. I don't know why, but apparently it gives them something to worry about. Anyway, you can do it that way, and you've also got the advantage, the same as with the Picatinny one, you can loosen that head off, which means that you can move it all around. Remember, it is carbon fiber, so it is a nice, lightweight bipod. Like I say, they do come in different lengths. That one there, as I point very professionally with the box, is six to nine. Then you've got the middle one, which is nine to 13 inches. And then you've got the bigger one, if you must have something really, really big and long. <laughs> and that's the 13 to 30 inch. And as I say, they come in pick or swivel stud. This is the swivel stud version or the stud version. Now, I would say one thing about it is that fitting it is a little bit tricky. You've got to get a pin through the stud on the rifle and you've got to do it sort of half cocked. Now, when I do it on camera, it's not very pretty to watch. The instructions make it very clear on how to do it, but it was a little bit of a fight for two minutes. But once it's on there, it's on there really nice and firmly. And as you can see, it works really well, particularly with that swiveling action on the top. And something else that comes on the stud version, because you don't get it on the pick version, obviously, is the ability to still add your sling afterwards. 
and I'm not too sure which way round that should be, whether it should be at the front or the back. And someone will tell me in the comments below. But either way, you don't need to add another stud to put your sling back on. To adjust the legs, it's very simple. You just give that a little bit of a spin there and you pop the leg down and you tighten it back up. And what you can do is you can have the leg at whatever length you want, depending on whatever position you're in. It's really, really simple and easy to use. You've got a nice metal framework up here that's been sort of anodized or colored or whatever. And of course you've got Cold Wow logo there because they're very, very proud of their bipod. Looks very nice. And then on the bottom you've got, it's a sort of semi rubberized feet. It does work, not as rubber as it could be, but they, they do work very, very well. And then literally you can just pop them back in like that, nice and simple. There we go. So it's really, really easy to adjust. These don't adjust at the top here, they're fixed. And if I'm honest, I don't really know what else I'm supposed to say about a bipod. It's a bipod, but it's a very important piece of kit. But it's a bipod. That is true. But wait, there's more. It is really, really sturdy, as you can see. I mean, you know, you've got plenty of angle at the back, but it's a really, really good firm fix. And with that adjustment there, you can literally rotate the gun to wherever you need to be. You can even go all the way around. Look, look at that. How far around can I go? I can just keep going. You'd never make a shot like that, really, would you? Although I don't know. I've seen some people do some crazy things, but you can just keep going all the way around with your bob and then you can go all the way back. There we are, look. How exciting is that? One small bit of bad news, if you're an Air Arms Galahad owner, these won't work on that. If you've got anything that's got like a slidey brass stud inside a channel on the front of your rifle that moves about freely, these ain't gonna work. Particularly on the Galahad with that curve at the bottom, no. You need a fixed stud to put the swivel stud bipod onto. Now, of course, Akitak do a really big range of bipods as well. And they're sort of at a higher price point compared to the Cold Wow. You've got like the FC G2 here, which is my favorite, but it is a big old bipod. If you're gonna walk around in the field, it's like, you know, how much of that do you actually need? So for me, that's really something when I want the gun ultra stable on a bench. We have got those at 101 Shop as well, by the way, but they're gorgeous. They work really, really well. But this is more designed for when you're out there roving about in the field. You're going to say to me, why do I need to spend all that money on a bipod? I mean, I can go on Amazon and I can buy one of these for 35 quid. Surely that's going to do the same thing. Well, let me give you a quick demonstration as to why you shouldn't be guaranteeing your shot on one of those. Coldwell bipod, little, little wobbly table, we know that but I'm rocking the table, okay? Rocking the table, boxes are moving, gun on bipod is not. It's quite sturdy, okay? It's not doing anything. We go straight over to your Amazon bipod and yeah, yeah I'm doing pretty much the same thing. And that's not the rail moving, by the way, that's, that's sturdy, it's the joint on the bipod. And even if I tighten that up as much as it'll go, I'm still getting my movement. And that is the difference between a quality bipod, like these, and an Amazon bipod there. And that wobble is the difference between a hit and a miss at 30 yards. That's it. That's the excitement. It's bipods. I don't know what else you expect me to do. Drop one out of a light aircraft or catapult one over a river or I don't know it's a bipod okay and I really can't do a lot more else with a bipod and I'm certainly not going to string it out over 30 minutes and talk to you about a bipod it's a bipod and it works so there we are thanks for watching please like and subscribe and press the bell notification when it comes up so you know when I put out another video which is incredibly rare nowadays it's just because I'm so busy doing airgun101.com which is, by the way, the international hub of air gun creators. If you want to find the latest 
Airgun videos, then go and have a look at airgun101.com. Also, if you want all the kit that you see, it's airgun101shop.co.uk. And if you want to talk to people, including me and lots of other lovely like-minded people out there and ask questions and discover how things work and what you should do when things go wrong, it's airgun101forum.com. That's it. Right, stop looking at me. Go do something. Bye-bye.